Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to automatically create an expense report through an email. In some situations, employees do not have the permission to access the expense app directly. So in this case, the employees can send the receipt or the expenses through email. Here, the administrator just need to configure an incoming email alias so that this alias would receive the mails from the employee. While sending the mail by the employee, the employee has to just uh, deal with a protocol in the subject. That is, it must include the information such as the amount of the product and product code reference so that the auto analyzes the subject line and extract the information to generate a new expense report in the system. So let's see, how can we manage the automatic creation of the expense um, through an email in Odoo 17. To manage the expense through the mail, first we need to set an incoming mail server where you can just go to the general settings of the Odoo database uh, where we have to search for the custom email. So under the custom email, first we also need to set an incoming mail and we also need to set an incoming uh, mail domain. So under this, you can see that we have enabled the use custom email server and under the incoming email server here, we have just set an incoming email server with the name and server type is set to POP server and the server name can be given as POP dot gmail.com as you just choose the SSL TSL the port number will be automatically configured by Odo afterwards here you can see that here we have just given the uh, incoming mail server so whenever an employee makes a, a mail that um, mail will be received to this uh, mail server or the username given over here to generate the password you can generate this password from the uh, username uh, by managing uh, its uh, gmail so if you want to know how to manage the incoming mail server we have already done a video on that kindly do search the video and uh, set the incoming mail server over here now as we need to generate a record called expense report uh, through the email you can choose create a new record as expense report over here so if you just get into the internal link over here you can see uh, the model uh, and all other details over here now let's back to the uh, incoming mail and here you can see that uh, we have just confirmed uh, this uh, mail and once the mail is received and if we want to just generate the uh, report then we just need to click on fetch now then only the report will be generated. Now to manage with the expense report we have to also consider an employee because uh, sometimes we know some of the employees will not have the right to access in the expense module of Odoo database. So in such cases, the employees can just generate their expenses through email. So let's move on to the employee module and let's consider the employee. And here you can just filter the employees based on the contract. And here you can see, uh, we can just have a filtration based on the contract of the employee and you would be able to find the employees that are having the contract and uh, not having the contract. So currently I'm going to choose the employee as Anita Oliver and we have to just give a work mail ID that is one of the uh, valid work mail ID over here. So whenever Anita Oliver uh, just uh, creates a mail um, by sending her uh, expense that um, expense will be generated only if she is an active employee of the company and if you want to identify an active employee uh, in the company here you can see a smart button called um, in contract since so if it's indicated in green color from this we can conclude that the employee is an active employee now let's move on to the expense module and in the expense module we also need to consider certain categories in order to manage with the expense through mail so here you can see that um, the expense categories that is already configured by Odoo so here we are just going to manage the travel expense or the accommodation expense of Anita Oliver. So as you just get into the product, uh, I mean expense categories, you would be able to find the product name, uh, then the sales price cost is on set to uh, zero. So these uh, can be updated uh, through the mail uh, in the subject and all. And here you can see that here we have just given the internal reference. So that this reference will be used as a subject prefix when submitting by email. 
now we are just going to use this um expense category for all product categories and if you want to just make any changes under the uh other things you can change it over here now let's consider the product uh that is uh um hotel accommodation now let's move on to the products and let's consider the product that is hotel accommodation and here you can see that um uh, the product name and the product uh, type is uh, just set to a service product and the invoicing policy is based on delivered quantity and here we have to set a sales price and if you want to set a cost then you can also provide the cost and here you can see that we have just provided the product category as per the expense category and you can also provide the internal reference so while creating the uh, expense report through email either you can use the internal reference that is given under the product name or you can also use the internal reference that is given in the uh, yeah uh, i mean in the expense uh, categories so here we are just going to consider the uh, internal reference that is given in the uh, yeah under the expense uh, categories and let's consider trans and uh, a double C as the internal reference. Now let's see how can we generate an uh, um, expense report through email. So here we have just logged into the uh, email of Anita Oliver, and here you can just provide the um, username that we have given under the incoming uh, mail server. So uh, that is sample odo for gmail.com, and uh, here we have to just provide the internal reference as the prefix of the subject and just give a space over and you can provide the expense that to generate now you can uh, provide the amount uh, that is the expense uh, amount and we can also just provide uh, a body over here hey this is my accommodation expense and later on if you have any um, files over here you can just attach that and later on you can click on submit so that this mail will be receiving a mail and we can also generate the expense report upon uh, clicking on uh, the fetch now button in the incoming mail server so let's uh, send this file first and now let's back to the odoo platform and uh, let's see how can we generate the expense report through email here you can just go to the incoming mail and we need to just fetch the uh, mails that we have just received right now so in order to do that we have to just get into the incoming mail server and click on fetch now and this would generate or auto generate an email uh, i mean an expense report upon the email um, configuration or sending of the email from the employee so as we just move on to the expense module here you would be able to find the expense that is generated so let me uh, just remove my expenses and here you can see that an expense is generated uh, in um, the name of employee Anita Oliver and here you can find the date and uh, the, um, the attachments given and the amount and all. Now let's choose this expense and uh, see here you can see we can just create a report for this. So uh, before creating the report we also need to set the uh, category over here. So the category is a uh, travel and accommodation so we can set the category over here and here you can see that the um, in, um, reference that we have just given is considered as the description of the expense and all other details such as the total everything will be automatically configured over here now we can just create a report so click on create report and uh, once we just create the report uh, the created expense report will be uh, viewed over here and if you want to report uh, I mean view the reports you can view that and uh, later on we can just submit our expense report to the manager so click on submit to manager so that uh, now we have just submitted the report to the manager now we just need to get the um, approval from the manager as we are uh, now in uh, the manager's interface uh, let's see how the manager is going to approve this expense so click on expense uh, i mean approve button so that the expense will be approved and the approved expenses can be now posted post in a journal entry so for that you can just use the button post journal entries and later on 
we can just make the payment uh, to the employee. So for that, click on register payment. And uh, here you can see that we would receive a pop-up wizard over here to make the payment. Um, and the default journal that is set as bank and the payment method is manual. The amount that is, um, the expense amount is uh, just 500. And you can see uh, the payment date as well as memos and all other details over here. Now, uh, we can also just provide the uh, receipt in bank account. So, you can provide it over here, like um, just create it over here and we can just provide all other details such as bank and all. Here, let's provide the uh, bank account number, then holder name. And here you can provide all other details as well as the currency also. The currency uh, that we are going to set is USD. And we can just save and close this. Later on, let's click on create payment so that we can um, create the payment for the employee Anita Oliver, which means uh, we have just made the uh, payment to Anita Oliver uh, over here. And if you want to find the journal entries, you can also find the journal entries. And after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. So even if the employees have the access to the expense uh, module, they can just use the option of uh, mailing and just send the expense report through an email. So this just reduces the manual entry of the expense report in the system. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage or generate an automatic expense report through an email. So if you want auto customization or auto tutorials, feel free to contact Cybrosis as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.